Yeah, life. Life does get away, especially after COVID. I, I feel like I thought, you know, so many conversations during COVID were like, oh, I've learned to slow down in life and take the moments. And then like the world gets back to normal. And before you know it, you're going 100 mile an hour again. And um, yeah, there's something about this place that like, you just can't do that. You know, if you're in the sand in a four wheel drive or if you're paddling out or, you know, you can't really rush it. And there's something about that that slows me down settles me down and just makes me want to be in the moment. I had a lot of moments like that on stage on this tour too. I don't know if it's because I've been doing this a little while or just because I really appreciated the moments, but um, especially when I sat down at the piano on these shows, like for things that we drink to and, and over for you, I would, I would always make a point of like sitting down and feeling my own feet on stage before I looked up. So I would make sure I have a tendency in life, and especially in shows, to get to the end of a show and be like, oh, I got away, you know, but I felt like I was really able to be right there for these shows. And um, I don't know if that was to do with being in Australia or because they were, you know, such great shows, but um, yeah, it felt good to be present. And I feel like I'm feeling that even more just here because there's no one around. It's awesome. I never realized, like I never meditated or, or did anything sort of mind, about mindfulness before I moved to the States. And I think it's because I always grew up on the coast and in like non-built up areas of Australia. And um, there was always so much peace in my life, just in the physicality of nature. And, um, and yeah, I've had to learn how to do that through like meditation and like being, you know, just being like, mindful of like, oh, I need some time in the bush right now. I'm going to go for a walk, you know, or in the woods or whatever, as they say. But um, yeah, I I'm really feeling that even more than ever being back here. It's like, just listen to the crickets now. Get that? This is about the best place I could imagine in the world to be at this point. I feel pretty good. Considering everything, yeah, I, you know, I feel like um, I got a long way to go, but I'm a long way from where I was three weeks ago, and um, I don't know, one day at a time. That's all you can, that's all you can hope for. And yeah, man, just super grateful to be in this moment. I, I feel like I've always kind of like struggled with that like balance of whatever it is that drives you to get to the next thing, and then enjoying where you're at, and. I think in the last three weeks, I've realized that there's a potential in moments. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's like not being present, but it's being present and recognizing that this is the first step towards the next thing. And um, I've really been trying to take that in and appreciate that too. Yeah, we've had so many conversations on this trip about that. And as fun as this has been, it really does feel like it's the start of whatever, whatever comes next. And I guess you could say that about any day, but as I'm watching the sunset here in Queensland, Australia, at a non-disclosed location. <laughs> I'm just really feeling that and appreciating it. And um, yeah, so grateful for this last sort of three weeks. I was sort of dreading heading back to the States um, just because it feels good to be on the other side of the world right now. But I love it so much there. I love Nashville so much. I love country music so much. I'm kind of excited as to what that's going to look like now. And, you know, if I can bring in this sort of perspective that I feel like I've got here in the last three weeks, I think I'll be in as good a spot as I could be. I don't know, man. I always try to look at everything in a positive way. Like, I just don't see any point in looking at it in any other way like it's just I mean I've learned more recently that you need to feel things and you take you know you need to take a second to like sit in things and experience them you know and not to sort of brush over them but at the end of the day um, that song Young Again is just the perfect embodiment of that feeling to me and we open our shows every night with it because it puts me in the moment and and every single time you say we will never be this young again it's true 
And um, it's as true now as, as the day we wrote it. Out of tune and out of time We're just getting started And they're calling closing time Cause we're drunk on love And whiskey shots So what the clock says 3 a.m. I do feel pretty young right now. I feel like younger me would be pretty, pretty stoked with uh, playing music with the guys I get to play music with. And play music for the people I get to play music for and in this exact moment while the sun's setting here on one of the most beautiful places I've ever been on earth. Um, yeah, I feel young enough. Cause we're drunk on love and whiskey shots So what the clock says three a.m. And we'll raise a glass to wild and free We will never be this young Cause we're drunk 